Hello everybody! So, <laughs> I kind of realized that I never filmed an intro for this video. So here's my little intro, kind of explaining what I meant to say before all of the chaos took over. So basically, yesterday morning, just imagine it's yesterday morning and I'm filming this. Basically what I was going to do was explain to you guys how I had been lazy all morning. I have just had a very stressful week. Like this video alone is of course of two days. Freaking crazy. <laughs> There's a lot that happens, so stay tuned for that. But I already have had a crazy week. Somebody hit my car last Thursday, and that whole situation has been just awesome. Um, yeah, the, um, it, it's been rough. Basically, like my insurance company can't get a hold of the other driver, so they can't like come to a conclusion on like who's at fault and like all of that information that is very important. And also getting a hold of my insurance company has just been. So basically I've just been like letting the stress and everything get to me, haven't gotten much done. So I decided, hey, let me clean, let me be productive, let me do something. So I'm pretty sure the next clip is me starting on laundry. That was my first task. So enjoy. Hope you like my laundry and the rest of this video. to give you guys kind of a story time of what happened with the video that you just watched because it was very interesting it's just like a giant crash you hear any scream you see chloe go <laughs> frantically run away but then we didn't get any video after the fact because but we had to call 911 yes <laughs> and it was my fault <laughs> Haley, what happened i was baking bread and sweet potato fries uh -huh. Both are delicious. And I was pulling the bread out, and I had just, I normally can get it out fine with one oven mitt, but mm -hmm. I was pulling it out, and it just was like not coming with my hand at all. It was just like, fall down. We have an electric <laughs> stove. I've never had an electric stove before. All of a sudden, I had parchment paper in the bread, by the way. It's okay. very integral part as well, I'm sure. Falls down, flames just immediately. immediately. It what? hit like the coil in the oven. Cause literally, I mean, if you listen to the video, you hear the crash and then like immediately <laughs> he's like, holy <laughs> shit. And then I run and I just see flames, flames just up. And I was like, <laughs> I was like what just happened? I, I caused a fire and also, <laughs> I really have never dealt with an electric oven, so I had no idea what to do. I did I think of either. turning it off, and I closed the door, and it went out, like nothing was happening, but yeah. the back of it was still like smoking, which Chloe caught, I didn't notice. Yeah, so I like saw that it was still smoking, and so I didn't, we were like, do we call 911? Do we what not? Do we do? Is it Is out? It fine? We don't know. Is it, if we open it and there's like the air, is Does the air bring back the fire? Like, we don't know. We weren't sure. So <laughs> we called 911, or she called 911. I called 911. And then they then they were like, okay, we're going to transfer to the fire department. I was like, oh, no. Yeah, was like, I was like, I just wanted to know if I needed to. And then they said, yeah. And, Stephen, you're ruining our shot. <laughs> Hello. Come on out. It's okay. We'll go. cut it. Yeah. And by will, I mean Chloe. <laughs> 20 minutes later. Okay. So back to the story. <laughs> So then they sent the fire, they said, we're going to connect with the fire department. And they asked for our address and they sent the fire department. <laughs> you did a really good job remembering where you left off. Because I completely forgot. Thank you. Oh. And um, 
they came, they brought two trucks. Uh. Both were rather large for a fire that was no longer around. <laughs> I was like, a wee oh, bit man. embarrassing. Also, they're giant. We're okay, tall people. We're tall people. They we made us feel know small. That. We live. <laughs> they came in. I swear their boots must have like extra stuff on them. Uh -huh. Well, and then like obviously with all their uh, their uniform equipment, whatever stuff, they just like just look like big men. <laughs> 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 Like, I just felt so tiny with everything. Yeah, tiny. We felt tiny. Um, the very nice man was also cute. So, I think it was station 39, maybe? I don't know. Station 31? There was a three involved. Um, hi. The guy that came into the fire that wasn't a fire. You were very cute. Nice to meet ya. Don't worry, we didn't get a photo. I'm not actually trying to slide into his knees. Yes. But, um, he did come in. He left it, like, literally, he's like, what happened? I was like... Mm, I dropped something in an electrical oven. I didn't know that would happen. Literally, he very nicely like, literally just like set down the fire extinguisher outside and came in and was like, it's all good, guys. I don't know Literally, why. like he walks in, opens it, and he's like, yeah, you guys are good. And we were like, I'm so sorry that you came all this way. But they're very nice. Yeah, and they actually were. And they were cracking jokes about yeah. the potato frying. And then still being yeah, there. they were like, well, you know, those are so good, which they weren't wrong. I haven't eaten them yet, but they were not burnt. Honestly, the bread is still good too. And then they very nicely left. They were here for like two minutes, maybe. Yeah, it literally was so fast. Like, there's apparently a fire department really close to us very because close. we they were called good. in like within like a minute, yeah. maybe two. They were just here, and they we were, were just here. like, oh. Anyways, that's what happened. That's our that's story time about how is. I called nine one one for a fire for the first time in my life. You're welcome. Okay, we're gonna cut back to our cleaning experience. I hope enjoy. you enjoy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
They make weird noises. Um, so there's like a little bar area over here. There's a sink back there. Um, we literally were like basically done, but then like I go in there to be like extra on top of my ish. And I walk in and I'm like, well, you saw. Yeah. <laughs> there's a bug. And it's not just any bug. Um, here's the thing. We yeah. lived in a place before that had a roach problem. So that was the whole freak out of Haley being like, I might cry. I might cry? I think it is. It's because, ha, uh, guys, the amount of times our place got fumigated those two years, it was way too awful. many. It but was if awful. you have German roaches, um, leave it in the comments so we know to pray for you. Because <laughs> um, God bless you. Move out, burn it to the ground. <laughs> Don't build there. Tell them never to build there. It's done. There's, there's no point. It's there's just no coming away. back. They... From German roaches. Yeah. But in the sink, I saw it and I was like, no. No. I couldn't do it. So I said, clone you. But you know who the true MVP was in the end? Steven! <laughs> but luckily, they look bigger and they are definitely a different color of the other ones in yeah. the other place. So they are not German roaches. Thank to my you. knowledge, they seem to be like a water pipe kind of bug. It's mm -hmm. a kind of in the roach yeah. family, but not as bad. Mainly probably because no one uses that faucet, so they live in there. We're gonna start using it on purpose. To run water through it so, so they, they, they leave. leave. But that does mean we might get a few guys. I said not leave. I meant not live there. Not live there. We need to kick them out, basically. Yeah, what's gonna happen. They are not paying rent. Sorry, you cannot stay. No. Um, but yeah, I just went back to that moment and I was like, no, I can't, I can't say out loud that we have. Uh, we killed them. We're gonna continue to run the water. Hopefully they'll go away and we won't ever see them again. And if all else fails, we will go through the fumigation process for the yeah. entire time in our entire lives. Wait, our life together. I'm like, <laughs> why do they follow us? <laughs> so, but yes, that is the story on the roaches. Just wanted to explain that video. So we have PTSD. Sense. We have roach PTSD is what happened, okay? Well, for me. Yeah. Chloe dealt with it way better and then Steven came through and killed them suckers. Uh-huh. All right, bye. Bye. Alrighty, so I'm going to take a quick bake, bake, break from cleaning and all that jazz because I am about to teach two privates and then I will come back and keep cleaning and show y'all the process and yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, and I am, d why did I have to do that? <laughs> but I am done with the privates. It is now dark outside. It is only 6.30, but it is very dark outside. Now, I need to put my clothes away because I ran two loads. So, I am going to grab my clothes. I don't know where the best spot to like put you guys is because I don't want you to fall down. I want you to bonk it. Is that going to stay? Is that not going to stay? Kind of.
I mean, like, yeah, like the tents in Harry Potter, but it's all like bigger. I guess. Well, and remember, like, okay, wait, in like anytime I've seen like books or anything, it's always like in the wall, you know, and like she opens up the little furnace thing. Cat, like, it kind of looks more like a pizza oven type of deal, kind of. And then, like, seriously, if you stick your head in here, you're just like, no. <laughs> I don't understand how they even got in there in the first place. Hello. Okay. It is now two days later. I have not filmed the outro yet and like showed you guys the final product. Listen, we ended up having this whole problem because apparently everything in my life is a problem with our bathroom, which I can insert some photos of. Sorry if that's going to be loud. Okay, that should be a little bit better. But basically what happened is there was a lot of rain in California. And so we had some damages that happened to the windowsills of some of our windows, which I can insert some photos somewhere so you can see that. And then with our bathroom, that was a whole different thing. But basically the wall was like falling apart. And I didn't get photos because I am really bad at YouTube apparently. So <laughs> I don't have photos to show you before, but I can show you kind of what it looks like now. It ended up being like a whole day process yesterday to try and fix it. And yeah, here, one sec. Okay, so right here you can kind of see along there, obviously some of it is not completely dry yet, but the guy like patched it up. You can, you can see better along here that it's all patched up. Again, it's not all completely dry yet, but basically literally like right here, it was all like falling off. There were like cracks that were starting. It was like a whole mess. So that's finally fixed. He's coming tomorrow to like finish up, but the lighting's better this way. But yeah, so now that's done. We haven't been able to use our shower for a little bit. Um, we have a second shower though, so we're still showering. Um, but then, with the apartment, cause the windowsills that were kind of messed up are now all better, all fixed, so great. Okay, so let me flip my camera so I can show you. Okay, so here, oh, thank you, sir. Here it is, here, let me. There we go, nice and bright. The living room, everything is all nice and clean. We have our little sad patio furniture as dining room <laughs> um, table set because it was cheaper, okay? And normally I would have all of the blinds like open so it's nice and bright, nice natural lighting, but I don't want anybody to be able to see outside because I don't want you to know where I live. But then here is the kitchen, super nice, super clean. Here, let me see if lights help at all. There we go, a little bit brighter. Here it is. And yay, I have a clean apartment. So there you have it. That was my very, very chaotic house cleaning video, whatever I'm titling this. But I hope it was entertaining for you. It was chaotic for me, but I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully. Also, please be praying for me and <laughs> my life and my whole car situation. That still all needs to get figured out. Luckily, like with the whole I can call 911 and like all that, it's like everything's fine with the bathroom. That's all gonna be fine with the bug stuff. Hopefully that'll end up being fine and won't be a problem. But with my car stuff, that is currently still an issue. So yeah, hopefully that gets resolved soon. That would be great. Um, I hope y'all have a great day and I will see y'all next time. Goodbye.